Professor Rizavi, thank you so much for the live session. Um, I thought after, immediately afterwards now you can breathe a bit better. <laughs> what were your thoughts on the session? Yeah, no, it was really good fun. So what we did just now was uh, connect by a satellite to London and we had a 15-year-old boy with complex congenital heart disease who underwent a completely MR-guided cardiac catheter procedure. So that was great. It's the first time we've done uh, somebody with congenital heart disease. We did a case last year, of course, in the US with, some, uh, with somebody with more simple ASD. And here what we did was uh, we saw uh, a platform, an interventional platform, which has been built for the MR scanner called the iSuite. And this basically uses a scanner as a control, so it's almost like a slave, and takes over the usual scanning that we normally do. And it means that you can use a pedal, in effect, to scan, to diff choose different sequences, or move the scanning plane from uh, one place to another, all in real time, all live. And that allowed you then, we, we, we saw um, a catheter being pushed up through the uh, blood vessels into the heart, and we were able to guide that catheter to, for example, we saw it going into the left pulmonary artery to make measurements, which are really important to these patients. And we, what we do with these patients is once you make all the measurements, we leave all the catheters inside the heart, and then we stress them with dobutamine, we give them nitric oxide, pulmonary vapor dilator, and we make lots of physiological measurements. And we discussed in the session a little bit how you take those physiological measurements and you basically assess how the patient's doing and what should happen to them next, because often these patients are struggling and we need to basically make good decisions about uh, whether to do another operation on them or even send them for heart transplantation. Thank you very much. And um, going forwards now, there was a lot of interest in the audience, it was busy. Um, how do you think this will translate across the next five years? Well, I, as I showed briefly in the uh, slides just before the live case, we are also doing these for ablating arrhythmias and for doing a structural interventions. Now those cases have been done as part of clinical trials uh, and future ones are planned and we are certainly planning them on both. The case we show today is just standard diagnostic clinical, normal clinical practice. So that's basically made it into normal clinical practice. We need to get those uh, structural interventions and electrophysiology ablation of arrhythmias into clinical practice. And I think in the next five years for sure that will happen.